Hello, we are going to show you how to put together your origami orb. This is what the end product will look like and this is a list of all the supplies that you're going to need. So a printout of your origami orb, orb and you can decide if you wanted to leave it black and white, something like this, or if you wanted to use markers or color pencils to add some color, variety, and brightness to it. You'll need a pair of scissors, either a glue stick or some clear tape, a folding bone, or I like to use a popsicle stick. Uh, this is a folding bone. Uh, this is a little bit more of a sophisticated tool. Otherwise, if you don't have one of those, a regular popsicle stick will also work. And a soft surface. And I have one of my cutting boards um, that I'm gonna be using. If you don't have a cutting board, um, then you can use like a notebook or a folder that has paper in it. Something uh, so that when we do our scoring, uh, that it's not a hard surface like a table. You wanna have a little bit of give. So the first step is obviously, if you wanted to add color, add color to it, and then, you're going to cut out those three strips, okay? You'll notice in the printout that there is a space up here that says adhesive. Don't cut that off, you wanna keep that on, okay? And then you're just gonna cut straight down all the way to the end and you're gonna cut out those three rectangles, okay? Now that you have those cut out, we are now going to do some scoring. And scoring is when we take a sharper piece like this or this end of the folding bone, and we are going to press and create an indent on all of these shapes that look like half of a circle. Once again, if you prefer, you can certainly use a popsicle stick. And you're literally just gonna go back and forth. It's almost like I'm rubbing it, but I wanna get that edge of the popsicle stick right on that line, okay? All of the designs have that semicircle, that half circle outlined in black. So you wanna make sure that you're going and you're applying an indent, okay? You can use your finger and you can feel it too. All right, you wanna apply pressure. because eventually we're gonna have to fold these areas. And by scoring it, it's gonna make folding it so much easier, okay? So you have four, eight, 12 of those circles to apply that scoring method to. So go ahead and do all that. Now that I have all of my half circles scored, I'm now going to do a preliminary fold. And so I'm just gonna be using my two thumbs and applying a little bit of pressure, folding that semicircle. Sometimes folding a curve is difficult. And so that's why it was really important that we scored it first, okay? So we can get that shape of the orb. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a preliminary fold, a little crease, if you wanna call it that. Two more to go.
and then straight on to the next step. So I have three strips. I'm gonna take two of them and I'm going to make them into a ring and you can either apply glue right here where it says adhesive and then hold it down until the glue is dry or if you wanted to work a little bit faster, you could certainly use a strip of clear tape. I'm gonna go ahead and use the clear tape option today. So I've got ring number one. I'm gonna do the same thing and create ring number two. And this third one's gonna be a little bit different, so don't make a ring quite yet with that. Now I am going to put ring number two inside the first ring. Okay, just like this. And I want to rotate it so that the half circles are showing outward. Okay, so that one is showing outward. It's matched up with these and this one is showing, okay? Now I am going to take the top of this strip, I'm gonna hold it right here, and I'm gonna go up, over, and down. Okay, so I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna bring it through this, I'm gonna curve it, and then go back down through this ring. And this might take a little bit of a wiggle, a little bit of a jiggle, until you have the two ends meeting. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to apply either that glue or tape and create that last ring. Once you've got that last ring taped together, you're going to shift it very carefully because we want these to be on the outsides just like the first and second ring. So I don't wanna tear it, so I'm gonna be gentle. I'm gonna be patient as best as I can. And I'm just gonna shift it so that those half circles on all of the rings are facing the outside. All right, so I'm just gonna double check my work do a little bit of shifting, make sure all of those on the outside. And then once I've double checked that, now it's the fun part. I am going to apply equal pressure and create that curve. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Apply equal pressure, create that curve. Now the orb is coming into play. All right. I might have to do a little bit of additional extra pleating, a little bit of pinching to reinforce that crease so that orb really starts to take place. A little shift. All right, and then just double checking all of the facets that you've created with this orb. All right, almost there. Double checking, oh, forgot this one. Cleaning up some of those edges, those facets. All 
Okay, and there you have it, the origami orb. Now what you can do with this now is you can just have singular ones. You can take a wire and string it through. There's little, little pockets that you can string that wire through and create a sculpture. Or you can also use a thread and a needle or maybe some yarn and create a little uh, chime, uh, a little dangling uh, sculpture. All right, and there you go.